Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you on a Friday, August 4th. And, okay, this is kind of different. This is a new... This is like a new series. And I almost don't know how to do this, but we're just going to wing it. Um, basically, so if you have been following along and you did not see my video from last night then just go watch that video because it will make more sense and I don't want to reiterate what happened yesterday. I mean, I'll reiterate just briefly. Basically, I went completely off the rails, completely went on tilt, full-blown. I blew 11 funded accounts. That's what you need to know. So we are starting fresh, starting today. And basically what I'm trying to do is for quite some time now, I have been back testing and testing, basically trading my support and resistance zones. And I am testing out that strategy uh, live. I'm using a 150K account just to do it. Um, basically, I'm just, I'm just tracking all my trades, journaling all my trades. Obviously, we're still in the very early stages of testing this strategy in a live environment. I have back tested it with promising results, I would say. There's definitely, it's far from a perfect strategy. There is no such thing, by the way. Um, there is no perfect strategy. So, but be, really, the reason that I'm doing this is, is more for me. I want, I want to be able to have more, a little bit more clear precise entry rules for myself. And I think that like I need to, I know that will help me and it'll help my discipline. And I just, I want to have a little bit more clear cut entry rules. And that's basically what this strategy does, what this system, what I'm trading does. I still trade price action and it's like price action is still, you know, Price action is king. I mean, there's just no way around it, but I am using a lot of other things just to help get more precise, not even precise entries. It's not that I'm looking for a precise entry, but I want to be able to clearly have a definitive set of rules for my entries, if that makes sense. It'll keep me from over trading. It'll keep me from entering trades randomly. It'll just keep me more disciplined. So right now, that's the goal. We're going to use 150K eval account. Again, this is not even about trying. This isn't about trying to pass this eval account. I mean, if we do, I don't know what we'll do about it, but it is what it is. I'm just looking to test the strategy and I want to do it for my goal would be, you know, I don't want, I, I'm not going to set a time limit, but we need to, I want to test it in a live environment, not just back testing and just, and it was good because today we definitely discovered some things trading in a live environment that I didn't really encounter when I was back testing. So let's just jump into it and kind of how the day went. Um, also, I mean, okay, so I know everyone's going to be asking, what's the strategy? What's the strategy? And I'm, I want you to hear me very loud and clear when I say this. Um, I am very much against trying to teach other people a strategy. Um, I, I'm, I'm in the belief that my strategy won't work for yours, for you. Um, everyone is unique in their own way and they have to create their own kind of strategy that fits their own unique, you know, traits. So I'm kind of hesitant almost to, I mean, obviously if you tune into the live stream, you're going to see exactly what my strategy is. I'm trying to keep it simple. My fear is if I tell people my strategy that people will start to you know, they'll, they'll see me make one winning trade or they'll see me have one nice trade and then they're going to try and duplicate that strategy. And then if it doesn't work out, 
I don't know. I don't want any responsibility because of that. But obviously, we're all adults. I mean, if you choose to, you know, take this strategy into your own and do your own thing with it, then I guess that's on you. Obviously, I don't recommend, of course, never trade, copy my trades or anything like that. If you're smart, you'll fade me. If you're smart, you'll just take reverse trades. So, I mean, so far, that would have worked out pretty well for you. Um, but regardless, um, let's get started. Let's just dive in. So part of the strategy is that I use a footprint chart. Um, and the footprint chart basically looks like, if I can find it here, the footprint chart looks like this. That This is basically a footprint chart. Everybody is familiar with it. This is the apex diagnostic chart. And um, basically it shows trapped orders, which are blue. Um, when they're blue, they're trapped orders kind of that. And that's what I'm using as my indicator. Once we get into one of my zones, I basically have four steps for my entries, but again, I'm not going to go drill down into that right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let's hide that. Okay. So our first entry was this morning. Um, and you'll also notice I have an ATR strategy down here this is not really something that i'm trading off of but atr average true range basically kind of shows the volatility is what it does and i don't want to be trading when there's high volatility so i don't really want to take any trades when the when the atr is above 20 but so right here this was our first trade um, this was our first entry right here and we got stopped out. Boom. Just like that. And then we had another entry right here. Um, got in at the 527s right here. And just so the ATM strategy for this is I enter, I have a 30 to basically my stop is below the zone, which is usually around 30 ticks. Um, so my stop loss is at 30 ticks. I'm trading four contracts and the first three contracts, I take full profit on those, th those three at 30 ticks profit. And then the last one, I just let it run and my profit, I take profit right before we get to the next support and resistance zone. So if that's, you know, obviously if that's 200 points away or something crazy, you know, I don't want to say we won't adjust some of that, but uh, for the most part, we will keep that strategy on that runner and I will not move my stop from the original position. So no break even stops. So here, uh, took profit at 30 ticks for my initial profit target was hit. Obviously, if we kind of fluctuated on price here. This was a good example. My usually, you know, I would have gotten stopped out here had I kept my stop at break even, um, but thankfully didn't. We went up, took profit right here. According, you know, again, everything according to planned. And then we had another entry here. Uh, my entry was right here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but uh, first profit target was again hit right here. And then, okay, so this was a little bit of an exception uh, because we had prior highs right here. Um, because we had prior highs right here, I did take profit right at the prior highs on my runner. And again, did not have any setups here um, until right here. So right here, we had another setup for a long at 596 and we took it. And we got stopped out on that one. So stopped out here. It is what it is. We won't win them all. Again, the goal of this is to test the strategy in a live environment. And the main focus is just to follow my rules. Um, and then here, uh, let me think. Sometimes I'm a little bit unsure. Yeah, so here was another stop out. Yeah, so again, triggered along right here. Got stopped out. And then we had another long trigger right here and we took profit at 30 ticks and we took profit again at this next support and resistance area. Um, then, so right here, this is what I wanted to show. So right here, 
obviously this afternoon we had a huge move down. Um, but right here, we actually had an entry hit. I should almost show you guys the replay, but you can go back and check the replay if you want. And so the way this system works is I enter a limit order to fill as an entry. And everything triggered right here for a short. My entry was 411. And that's where my order was. And the price moved so quickly and so fast down that it didn't fill me. It did not fill my short. Ah, feels bad. And we literally, it would have been about a $1,200 trade. So whatever, I mean, that's one of those things where that's why we test this in a live environment. It is what it is. Um, what can you do? Then um, coming back here, right here, again, same exact thing happens. Enter a limit to sell right here. Everything triggered. And again, it moves so fast. I did not get filled again twice in a row. And again, it would have been about, that one would have been about a $900 trade. So it was unfortunate. Um, what can you say? <laughs> uh, then at the end of the day here, we had one last one trigger. And again, when I, like some of these trades, I don't exactly like taking these trades. If it's just me, I'm like, ooh, I do not like this. But I'm just following my rules. And that's something that's very important to me that I just follow my rules. We do this and obviously we can tweak some things as we need to. And as we see things, we will tweak them. But for now, we are just following the rules. And a long did trigger right here. We entered long, obviously got stopped out. So it, you know, overall it was still, it was a great day because we followed our rules. Now let's just open Tradezilla. So we have... Basically, like I said in last night's video, we are starting fresh. So the Tradezilla account that is very, very ugly to look at, and I don't even want to talk about, I don't want to look at that account on Tradezilla one more time. I'm so sick and tired of looking at that thing. Um, so <laughs> that those accounts, we will not discuss them again. Uh, they were a learning experience at least, and I am glad I did it and everything, but I am ready for a fresh start, and that's what this is. So obviously, um, we're going to have, I created another account on trade, obviously this is using Tradezilla, and we are calling this the S&P strategy, whatever, I didn't, I couldn't think of a better name. And basically, yeah, so here, let me, I'm just going to click on my trades, and obviously, you know, you can see, Kind of the fluctuations, which this isn't really, I mean, I don't want to make exceptions, but if we, if those two trades would have filled when they were, instead of ripping right through my limit order, if those two orders fill, um, we are probably sitting at a close to $1,200 in profit. So it's unfortunate, um, but I, it's just more a side note. I just, on my notes, I entered um, my notes here about that um, but I'm not going to enter any trades that actually didn't happen um, it's just so going forward I'm going to do a little bit differently on how I enter my orders we're going to use a market order to get in just I've never been a fan of using market orders but I'll tell you what I'm way less of a fan of missing out on like $1,900 in profit. So we are changing, we changed a little bit how we enter the market from what we were doing. So at least for now. So anyway, um, what else is there to do? Oh, if we, let's just look at, so obviously my, my rhythmic accounts, you can see here, let me just do this. This is going to be easier to read. But obviously this account here, this was from last night. This was from the whole, the carnage that happened. And then, you know, obviously we have all our funded accounts are sitting at or above 50,000. These five accounts will become funded Monday. 
And then this is the account that we're just using for this testing purpose. And I noticed that this is off from what it is in Tradezilla because I forgot to put in the commissions. I'll do that off stream off. As soon as I'm done recording, I'll update that. So it includes the commissions and uh, we'll be good to go. But for now, we plan to continue doing this strategy and uh, just test it out. That's, uh, yeah, I had a good day. Had a good day today. Had fun testing it out and just interacting with all you peeps. So that's it. Um, that's it for tonight. And uh, hopefully everyone has a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And God bless you.